Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the VIA Serviceability Engineering Team. In today's demo, we'll be talking about how to add application shortcuts to a 1x agent. In today's demo, I'll show how to add a launch item, an application, a web page, and a system tool. Then I'll arrange the application list order, remove a launch item, and test the application launch. You can find detailed instructions for the 1x agent in the Avaya 1x Agent 2.5 documentation library. So let's get started. We have our 1x client running on the desktop and we're going to open up our system settings menu item. And from there, uh, we want to work with the launch application. So we'll click on launch applications. And this brings up our user interface for adding applications. And the first thing we'll need to do is click on the plus sign, and this will add an application to our to our list. And then we need to rename this application. And in this case, I'm just going to call this CLI. And uh, I'll open a command line prompt with this launch point. And then we need to collect the file folder or URL to, of the location of that file. And we can browse to that. It's going to be our system32 directory. cmd.exe and we click on open and we can put a description this is a command line and parameters to pass so if we had any uh, startup parameters we wanted to pass to the application we would enter those in here default directory now if we had a default directory that the application needed to launch into um, we would set that here and then the last thing we can do is test our, our CLI launch point and see if it actually launches the CMD command. And there it launched fine, so we're good. We can close that. Click OK. And we can see it in our list here if we just scroll down on the drop down button, CLI, and we click on it and it launches. So now let's add a, a web page. So we want to launch, uh, let's say, the Avaya support web page from our application. We'll just click on System Settings, Launch Application, and we'll click on Add, and we'll just call this Avaya support. Oops. Then we enter in the URL for the website have it saved in my clipboard. And then uh, description parameters, we don't need any of those, and default directory, and now we can just test it. And it opens the Avaya website, so we're good there. And we'll add one more, we'll uh, add um, one more application, so we'll add another one. And uh, we'll add PuTTY this time, which is a fairly common application for people to use. So we just enter in the path for our PuTTY, and I have it in my clipboard. And we click on Test. And we launch PuTTY, no problem. So now uh, let's say that uh, I want to move Avaya support up in the list. I don't want to have it in the middle. I want it to be the number one selection. So I'll just click on it and then click on the up arrow and that moves it up in my list. And then say OK. And now we can see in the drop down list that we have Avaya support, then CLI, and then PuTTY. Okay, we have one last thing that we need to do and that's to delete one of these applications and I'll take out the CLI so then we only have Avaya support and PuTTY. So we'll click on our system settings, launch application, and then we just highlight the CLI and we hit the minus sign. And we're asked to confirm that we want to delete it and yes we do. And now our list only has two items in it click OK. And we can see that our drop down menu now only has Avaya support and PuTTY. And that concludes our demo for today. 
Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.